Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. We have today very strong winds outside so the door will keep banging. But our focus will be on this new customer 1999 Toyota 4 4 wheel drive SR5 with approximately 242,000 miles. It's a new customer and the owner just purchased this vehicle and she would like to know in what condition it is. So I offered the detail inspection and I just started that. And right there at the beginning I found something what I would like to share with you. So when we opened in the parking lot together with the owner the hood we just talked about the truck for a while, she showed me she replaced her engine air filter, which is in this box. So that's fantastic, I love that enthusiasm and that she tries at least something to do, at least something with her vehicle. Well, what's the next step after the engine air filter? It's a MAF. I removed the MAF. And I need to show you the details because this is one of the most dirty I ever pulled out. I will try to show it. If it doesn't show on this camera, I will bring different camcorder. What I want to show you is there are absolute physical, there is absolute physical buildup of the dirt, dust almost like a mud is on this wire this is a problem for us video makers different lenses different camcorders have different focus and distance this is a sony camcorder which i can really bring stuff very close to the lens the minimum focus in distance is great so I played with the light how to show you do you see that build up of that dust there sand whatever it is on that wire because this is the other side this is how it's supposed to look like clean silver do you see the difference so this always amazes me how Toyotas are resistant to the abuse or resistant to the lack of the maintenance. This vehicle just passed smoke here in California has absolutely no codes in the ECM all the monitors finished no codes, green light for IM right, which is emissions this MAF it's not telling the computer hey malfunction, malfunction, it still tries to do its job and the vehicle drives fine of course it needs to be clean because it might be or it is for sure not reading correctly this is towards to that engine air filter she said I replaced it right away because that engine air filter was really nasty it was really bad so I immediately replaced that no and now I now we see that she was correct she Replace that, of course she didn't know that it continues, there is MAF, there is a throttle body. So that all also needs to be clean and that's why we make these videos. That everybody can do it themselves. You don't need us, garages, but you can learn how to do these services yourself. I just want to share this with you, that you know, all of you will know in the future. Yes, you see that? Trying my best with the light and so on. Definitely dirty. You have right underneath here this part that uh, it's a IAC. That is for idle. It's a either air control valve that also gets that dirt inside right here, which is not good. So always keep your engineer filter in this box clean. I just put this on the side. It's very simple for everybody. You just do these two clips. And look, it's a brand new filter. So we confirmed she was correct. 
that was very bad shape and it made the mouth and throat the body down there very dirty. And I created many videos on this channel about the cleaning that mouth sensor, so I feel it will be beating the dead horse if I make another one on this forerunner and so on. So if you guys don't know how it's clean, it's very simple. You buy the special spray for it and it's on multiple videos on this channel. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this helpful and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.